welcome back to my channel. This video is about Google Sheets text formulas. To be honest, I only started using Google Sheets as a data analyst when I joined my current company half a year ago. Back then, I always thought that using Google Sheets or Excel is not a cool thing as Python and R sounds more fancier than this old-fashioned tools. But I was totally wrong. Either Sheets or Excel does such a powerful tool to do a quick analysis to validate data or even automate daily reporting. In a startup's environment where the company don't have much fun to buy expensive systems, things are quite manual and certain information is being tracked using Google Sheets or Excel. Hence, whether you are a marketer or business owner or anyone who wants to get insights from data, it's important to learn how to do some simple transformation within spreadsheets for some analysis or to clean up the data before importing it to a data visualization tool like Data Studio. So today, I'm going to share with you the 10 spreadsheets basic text formula with some simple examples along with my thoughts and working experiences. These 10 functions can be divided into four groups such as text capitalization, extraction, transformation, and meta function. For those who are looking for a more advanced application of these formulas, perhaps in a real world scenario, let me know in the comments below and I will consider making one. Let's start with text capitalization formulas. Sometimes we tend to receive dirty data, especially when the source is coming from user inputs and it's a free text. So text capitalization is one of the useful ways to standardize the string values in spreadsheets. So it's, it's quite self-explanatory that the upper function is used to capitalize every letter of the text. Lower function is used to convert the text into lower cases, whereas the role of proper function is to improve readability by only capitalizing the initial letter of each word in a string and converting the rest of the letters to lower case. I personally like to use this as it looks more professional and neat for report or dashboard. Next, we're going to move on to text extraction function. Say, if we want to extract the first three characters of the word butterfly, we can use the left function because it helps us to get the X number of characters from the most left of a string. So in the formula, we need to indicate the text followed by x number of character, which in this case is 3 because we want to get the first 3 characters. The word but extracted from the word butterfly using left function. Similarly, if we want to get the last 3 characters, we can use right function. Pretty straightforward. Yep. By the way, it's optional to declare the number of characters, so if the second parameter is left empty, by default they will take only the first character from the left. So now you may wonder, how if we want to extract the characters starting from the middle, not from the most right and not from the most left? Yes, the formula meet come to the rescues. Just indicate the position of the character you want to start with, followed by the number of character you wish to get. So here is how we do it. Moving on to the next category, text transformation. I find split functions super useful when I need to separate multiple values that are stored as a string in a single cell. For example, in this data set, we have the courses selected by students and we are interested to know what is the first course that the student picked. So in this case, we can type the split function, indicate the text and put the delimiter here. So you can see now the courses are split into different columns based on their orders. Concatenate when we wish to combine two or more columns. In this case, we'll be combining the first word and second word to form a with the value. 
seahorse. When you have just one specific character or word to replace, you can use substitute function. For example, the word tick here is misspelled and I can correct it easily using substitute function. Last but not least, we have the length formula which helps us to count the length of a string. For example, this function is super useful when it's paired with other functions like find or text extraction function like left, right or mean. But we will not cover that in this video, otherwise it will be too lengthy. Alright, that sums up our 10 formulas today. To help you revise faster on the text functions, I have prepared a cheat sheet where I list out every formula with the syntax and examples on how to use the formulas along with the link to official documentation if you would like to know more details. That's all for today. I hope you find this video useful. Let me know if you learned something from the video today by giving a thumbs up or leaving a comment. It will be a great encouragement for you.